when I was a teacher's aide, let me tell you this. There was this young girl, okay, who lived next to us on the military base in Fort Meade, Maryland. Her name was a Shakita, Shakia. I think maybe it was a Shakia. She was in the second grade. She would sit there. I'd, I'd take them to school since they're right there. We go to school, and I was an aide in that classroom at times. I just bounced around from classroom to classroom. But she was sitting there, and the teacher was wanting her to read, and she couldn't. She couldn't read. And so she wasn't able to pass her test. She wasn't able to do things. And then come to find out, she, um, she told me, she said, I can't see. She said, it's all blurry. She couldn't see you all, and she didn't tell nobody. And, you know, people made fun of her. But you know what? The school gave her an eye test. She had very poor eyesight, extremely poor eyesight, this little second grade girl. And her mother, they told her, and her mother took her, and she got glasses, and she was so happy that she could then read. She could read. Nobody would make fun of her because she could read. Okay, so that is something to get exciting about. When you, when you have a child who cannot see in the second grade and people are making fun of her because she can't see enough to read or do her test or write her papers, that is exciting. It is exciting uh, to witness that. Okay, so yeah, there are exciting things happening in the medical field. Okay, there is in science, science field, there is. That's great, Demetrius. See? And it does make a difference. It does, because without that, you know, you're going to be hindered the rest of your life. You will when you're a child. Uh, yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's that's fine, you all. I love children. I, I absolutely love children, okay? I, I really, really do. And just thinking about that moment, it, it moves me within. Because I would take her to school every day. And I would sit there watching her struggling, trying to read. And then I asked her what was wrong. And, she, you know, she, she thought enough of me to confide in me and tell me. She did. And I remember telling the teacher. And she got tears in her eyes, too. Um, so, yeah. It's, uh, I'm glad they got technology. I'm glad science, you know, is advanced enough to you know, test your eyesight and give you the right pair of glasses, okay? Yeah. Well, Christine, yeah, I've always worked with children, always, for many, many years. 